Dozens of Nairobi dwellers were on Thursday stuck following heavy rains that impounded the city at dawn. The rains, which started at about 6.15 m, saw many motorists and pedestrians stuck in flooded highways and streets. A spot check by the Star showed that many carried umbrellas but could not brave the heavy rains which lasted for hours. But others could not leave their houses as the floodwaters had already spread to many parts of the city. Sizi Toka Kwanemba, I can't leave home. The rain is too much and I fear for my health and life, a resident told the Star. The situation has exposed the poor state of drainage systems in Kenya's capital. The governor earlier said City Hall was prepared for the rains. Buses and matatas were forced to go through the estates to pick the pedestrians who were stranded. The only thing moving is the waters of the famous Aga Khan River, and Nairobian joked. Matata operators and some routes raised the fares twofold. Some people were charged SH-100 instead of the normal SH-50. Cart pullers made a kill as they helped people cross the flooded streets. Some people were forced to part with SH-100 to be carted. Kenyans on Twitter joked that they needed the fame Noah's Ark to navigate the troubled streets. Must be awkward if you are swept by the Nairobi floods while driving Anoa, one said. Last week, the weatherman said the country will experience heavy rains that may cause floods in low-lying areas. The agency predicted that floods will hit the country on Friday and Sunday. Rainfall is expected to continue over most parts of the country. Heavy rainfall may be experienced over parts of central, western, northeastern and southeastern areas. They warned that the rains would cause floods in low-lying areas and urban centers with poor drainage systems. A student was killed and hundreds of motorists and passengers forced to spend Tuesday night in the cold after a section of the Maimekiunrik Road was cut off by flash floods.